Mary and Eliza Freeman's houses are the last surviving homes of Little Liberia, a settlement for free African Americans established in 1831, a time when African Americans through most of the North were free. The background to the name Little Liberia is based on an oral tradition that the community's inhabitants strongly identified with the new African nation established for free African slaves. The settlement reached its highest population before the Civil War. Like in Liberia, a nation founded by and for the free slaves, this community in Bridgeport became a safe haven for free slaves and their families. Mary and Eliza were actually born free in Derby, Connecticut, but became landlords here in Bridgeport and decided to buy adjoining homes in Little Liberia, which they took very good care of. At the time of Eliza's death, she had 3,000 in real estate holdings in Bridgeport. Mary bought Eliza's shares and accumulated many homes and buildings on Main and Gregory Street in Bridgeport. In this manner, during their lifetime, the Freeman sisters overcame significant obstacles as women and as African Americans in the 19th century society. While they lived in such a trialing time for African Americans, not to mention women, all that is left are those houses. But they are a strong reminder that this community was created, existed, and thrived in a small nook of Bridgeport before any type of official legislation passed allowing this to even be conceptualized. Not only were these women trailblazers, but symbols of power.